Hello everybody, welcome to the sound test room. Today we are taking a look at Sugarbytes Unique Synth and also we're going to be having a mess around with the marvellous Silo from Unfiltered Audio as well. Uh, so at the moment I have, the Unfiltered Audio is switched off at the moment, so when I engage it on this particular patch, which is one of mine, and then we're going to take a look uh, at the synth. The synth is marvellous. I, I like the synth. I've always liked it. It has superb uh, features that you don't find on many other synthesizers, which is really good. I'll show you those as well. The modulation is bonkers. <laughs> So let us switch on Silo here. So this is a, a, another patch of mine from Silo. So again, without silo, the sound is just... Granular reverb, which is lovely. Okay, so uh, you can do an awful lot with silo. You just have to dig in and, and, uh, and have a mess around, so... Let's do that. Let's have a play around with that patch. But let's actually, let's put it onto something a little bit more. So. Here's a bass patch that I made. No effect on that at all. Just what's going on inside Unique. So I'm going to put Silo onto this patch here. Let's go and find UA, United Audio. We're on this in Cubase's 3.5. Where are we? Here we go. I'm going to put Silo in now. Increase the mask size.
So, Unique. Let's have a quick look around Unique. Don't need to open that, so we can open it like this. So, Unique to oscillators. Uh, a, a very cool filter, which has a valve filter as well. At the moment, it's just a low-pass four-pole filter. But we're going to see if we can set up uh, just a basic patch. Let's see what's going on. Okay, so I'm going to take the lo-fi off here. We have two effects. The arpeggiator is super cool in this. If we switch on the arpeggiator by engaging the oscillators. Let's go up and down. Don't worry about spread yet, that's to do with unison. So this is the arpeggiator and it's arpeggiating both oscillators here. Let's change this oscillator here to a pulse. So now I've panned the triple FM oscillator more towards the right and the, the second oscillator, which is the pulse oscillator, we've panned more towards the left. So we can pan and we have level control. We can set these to center and use the very cool auto pan control and have an independent rate for each oscillator auto panning. Change that to say a sawtooth. Now you see that the independent, you have an independent ADSR for each oscillator. This is marvelous. But what's also super cool is I can switch off the arpeggiator for oscillator one and just have it oscillator, arpeggiating oscillator two. And I could turn level down for oscillator one. Marvelous. So now we've just got a sustain chord for oscillator one, but I'll increase the release a little bit. So on oscillator one. many synths to have independent ADSRs for the oscillators uh, vortex it's very very rare in fact I, I there may be others but I this is the only one that I can actually think of hand so we could have this fade in really slow sort of thing and we could have the decay set like this uh, let's drop this down and see what happens now That's lovely. Now we also have a, a, tr a tremolo here. <laughs> a sub oscillator. An octave for the sub. Which is also lovely. Now this is really old, this synth is ancient. 
Um, it came out a long, long time ago. I mean, I mean, we're talking probably about ten or twelve years, probably, uh, maybe even before that on desktop. So. So this is one of my favorite features, having the actual control over the arpeggiator. So let's look, we've got level one and level two for, and the rate of the auto pad and stuff for each independent oscillator. Let's see if we can do something. Let's see what happens if we say, Let's modulate this cutoff frequency with, with the LFO. Now you get to all the modulation sources by tapping on controllers here. So we have an LFO, we have an envelope for the source, we have a sequencer and we have a recordable motion pad for, uh, uh, these are your sources for your um, LFO. And you can pretty much send these anywhere you like. All right, so we're gonna take this LFO for instance, right? And we are going to, let's just switch that off there. We're going to send, we're going to use the cutoff. We're going to send that cutoff to the LFO. So all you need to do is you kind of tap and hold like this. It doesn't always work actually, strangely enough, it's probably me. Um, it's just gonna be annoying. Look, it's gonna, it's gonna, it's gonna annoy me now. It's gonna. <laughs> it's funnily enough, it hasn't, it wasn't updated too long. Double tap, as I recall, could be Sam. There you go. Uh, LFO. So let's just try that again. So we double tap. So if I long hold on, say pan. Okay, so let's double tap. Yeah, double tap. Thanks, Sam. Nice one, matey. Uh, double tap on the cutoff. Yeah, that worked again, didn't it? Not right. I'm gonna. These are your. These are your sources. So you can choose your source for your LFO. I'm gonna choose, and you'll see it's moving around now like this. Now you can't also assign that to the sequencer. Okay, so. You see now it's full range. It's full range at the moment. So if we go into our controllers, you'll see that the, the, the range is here. So. You can have different, different ways it triggers. Let's see one clock. You can also have it fade in. So, and the fade rate. Cool, let's turn these down and the rate. Now you can also, this is where you set the range. So you could say, just basically have it in the center. Now. Let's double tap this resonance here like this and hope it works right let's assign that to the sequencer here So that's how you assign your LFOs and stuff like that to the uh, to the destinations uh, to the, from the sources to the destinations. You kind of double tap and then hold for a bit. 
and you, you've seen how we do the actual arpeggiator it's also got glide of course unison detune is really really nice there's two effects as well two effect slots so we can tap on it and we can see our available effects so for instance we can have a reverb And then we could either have a we could have a chorus or a delay. So I really like that actually. So I'm just going to save that and as a, as a patch. And let me just sort this out. Let me go full screen. I'll save this as um, oh, it's pad one, pad one. Okay, pad one. Right. Okay. So that's cool. So okay. So let's 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 look at some something like strings. Comes with tons of patches. Oh, here's a good one. take that patch and let's apply silo to it so if we switch silo on let's open silo up we can close this so this is my patch my one and only patch that i saved i messed around with it loads and then decided to save a patch um so silo takes your incoming audio here and places it into this buffer And from that point, you can then start to manipulate all sorts of cool stuff. You've got the granulator section here, the spatializer section, and then the reverb section. And each section can be turned on and off independently, depending on what you want to use. Because at the moment, they're all turned on. So we'll start from, say, we'll go... Uh, oops, no, I don't want to delete my preset. Cancel that. Uh, we'll just start with one of the factory presets maybe ether theories now you'll turn the compressor down a little bit you'll see you've got a mix control here so you can blend your dry signal You'll see here in the spatializer, the geometry section is set to comets and stereo. So we can choose from moons, you'll see, and different different things will work. you have a masking section which you can control by just moving your finger up and down on the control size
play with the granulator's great form. So if we switch the spatializer and the reverb off, we can just hear what's going on with this. idea how it works if you turn these off each section we've got deviation grain size deviation here So that's the that's the grain section. Increasing the rate will increase the, the grains. They well, it will increase the the time that it takes the grains to fire. In, increase or decrease the size of the grain. So the bigger the grain size, the more spacey it's going to sound. It's very beautiful and atmospheric. Silo can make any sound very, 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 um, well, apart from sounding very, very cool, it makes it very kind of spacey and ambient. If we turn it off again and listen to the, the basic patch, let's close that a sec, go to our, and maybe change that patch again to maybe just, well, what's this? which is kind of a, it's called organ string. So silo is, unique is great for pairing with silo or any other, I mean, you can pay, you could take, you could put flush with silo, which you're then granulating the granulating, which gets very strange and unique sounds going on. So let's use this sound and let's listen to what Silo's doing for this as well. So I will just, um, sorry, close that and re-engage Silo on this. Well, we continue to mess around with the sound. So we remember at the moment, we're just on the granulator section. Frames with silo or frames with floss. Or <laughs> so let's bring in the spatializer now, shall we? So if we turn off the granulator, we'll listen to the spatializer.
So this is Spatializer, now just Spatializer, 3D Pitch and Biological. Decrease the locations. That's nice. So let's try the reverb. Let's put the mix up full. Oh, listen to that. That's just hearing the reverb now. So let's put all three engines back on now to see what that's done to the sound. Very nice. Right, so let's switch silo off just for a moment. Let's go back to Unique and let's look at changing the sound to something more oh, right sequenced. <laughs> I should have pointed out as well the, it's got the super cool valve filter as well which you can also modulate the valves as well Try another one on those show. Oh, here we go. I like this one. This is sequencing, so not arpeggiating. So on something like this, so don't forget tomorrow night, we're just gonna play some music. It's my birthday on Sunday, so I won't be streaming. So we're gonna do like a, a Doug's birthday bash music night tomorrow. 
so we can all just hang out and chat. Right, let me try another one. Right, this. I'm gonna run this through. Thanks, thanks for this. I'm gonna run this through. before I go is I'm going to put um, I'll just let me add in a, a MIDI a MIDI track here and I'm just going to go to some drums I'm just going to put in uh, some drum MIDI and um, let's see what's what's going on here we got anything will do I'm going to just stick this drum MIDI onto this this rock kit here and we'll just uh, do this. So it's quite a nice groove, actually. Right, I'm going to put silo onto this so you get an idea of. Let me change the kit to something a little bit drier. Okay. Um, and I'm going to mess around with silo while you say to that to each other. Um, I'm going to play around with silo on this uh, rhythmic drum pattern. And in fact, actually, uh, yeah, no, that's fine. I'm going to do that. So add an effect audio unit. just wanted to point out that when this happens a lot of the time you'll think what's gone on but it's only because the mix is all the way up right I'm gonna close the microphone now play around with this for five minutes or so whatever and I hope hopefully I'll see you all tomorrow we're just gonna play some tunes as we usual from we're gonna be playing tunes from me and Colin me and Joe bit of me you know mostly me it's all about me it's me 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 it's me I'm only kidding. It's going to be like a mixture of mine and Colin's stuff, mine and Joe's stuff, that kind of thing, you know. But we can just talk in the chat. You'll be able to see us as well. You'll be able to see us on camera. And you'll be thinking, oh my God, is that what they really look like? Is that is he is he really that hippie-ish now? Right. Anyway. Okie dokie, gang. I hopefully will see you tomorrow. And, uh, yeah, bless you all. Thank you for joining. Right. Let's see. Let's go and play around with some of these presets, shall we, and see what it does to the drums. <laughs>